This is a one-stop music jukebox, sound leisure. Coin slots on the side on this machine. Size of it is 28 inches high, 21 inches across, and eight inch in depth. The touchscreen is a 19 inch, and it is actual touchscreen. It's not one of these jukeboxes around there. You have a little pad where um, it looks like a touchscreen initially, but you have to have a, something plugged in. So all of, all of my machines have uh, base, yeah, basically touchscreens. This runs sound leisure software. It won't time out because it's milestones in music. It was updated literally a few days ago. All the jukeboxes I sell have got the latest updating and they don't time out. However, if you want to put new songs in there, then you have to do a SoundNet subscription. But if you're like me and don't like much of the modern stuff, it's perfectly all right. So on the side here, you've got your different categories. So let's let's go and find something from the 80s. Click 80s. And we've got sub things now. So we'll set, let's look for view all because that shows all the 80 songs on the jukebox so it tells me here there's like nearly 3,000 of them but you can click source a to z and let's go for i don't know something begin with t so if you want to play something press it hit play i haven't got this wide to speakers at the moment because of youtube they absolutely um you know take your videos down or mute them when there's copyright material playing so you can just keep on loading up your playlist and go back home. There's a search button there as well, so you can search for artists. So let's try, let's try typing in Beatles. So it already comes up with suggestions. So now Beatles, so we've pressed the Beatles and that's all the Beatles stuff in here so whatever you want to do hit play there you go the uh the amplifier that comes with the machine you get a wired remote control with which does the volume and also rejects the song playing there is also an option on this to have a bluetooth amplifier that allows you to stream from your phone to the jukebox but as on all of these jukeboxes you have to wire speakers to them which is very easy because it's just done on side on a a little pause but these are really nice machines all the computers have been refurbished with uh with ssds new fans that kind of stuff giving a good check over so really truthfully speaking I, I never see these come back to me because you know you do the job right in the first place and you know also on these let me just show you this you've got album charts you can go back several weeks so if you see an album you like there you go, Taylor Swift, click it, and you've got the whole other thing. Click the track you want, press play. And you can always go back to the album charts, or back home. And you can also do it on, press the run button, singles as well. These are the top 40 jukebox singles. And you can also go back on this many, many weeks. But these jukeboxes have got over 85,000 songs on them. So like I say, if you're like me, who not really a mega fan of new music, um, you know, you, you don't want to update the system, this is probably the jukebox for you. Um, the SoundNet subscription, they do a, a home one. Um, or with this jukebox as well, there is a, you know, if you want to, there is an upgrade and you can fit a coin mech. Um, there's also this DJ function here where you click the DJ, press enable, and you can see your playlist there. You can actually go into there and play that song next, move it up the list, and you can reject songs and all of that. So that's really easy. And when you're finished with it, press that button and you go back to the main system. That can be disabled anyway in your software. Um, so yeah, so that's the one-stop music.